Hello everyone and welcome to my video tutorial on how to make a self-filling cup. So first I will show you the, the what you should film to make this effect. So you just, you just need to pour uh, your liquid into the into the glass like this. Just it's very simple. And also you need at the beginning a clean plate to work out. Like this. This is a very nice plate. So first what you need to do is duplicate the duplicate the footage, take the one on the bottom, make sure you are at your clean area and right click go to I think it's time uh, in English but I'm not sure and go to freeze frame okay so the the frame uh, the image is it's just a still picture now and it's on the bottom of the other one now what you need to do is a mask a mask around the around the cup so I already made it to show you here this is what it should look like and you can also feather the mask just a little bit so it blends nicely and another thing is the shadow here doesn't match so also make a mask around the shadow here it's all an add so it's nice but you have this little also this little area which is a reflection of this and I also made a mask for this that I keyframe keyframe and this one is on subtract so the mask is right here it just move along with the the reflection of this so yeah and the other thing the last mask you need to do is just it's very simple but it's quite long it's a mask around the area where it's it's falling so yeah and also what you can do which I will do in a moment is another mask around here and put it on subtract subtract again feather it so it blends nicely and just move it right here and also keyframe it just because if you have little reflection of of the uh, liquid uh, falling it's you just just to remove that so yeah, another keyframe here now it should look like this so it's a just this area here that I will show you in a moment how to clear. So let's move on to that. Now you need to fill in this little area right here. So what you do is you you take your top footage and duplicate duplicate it two times. And this one will affect generate no, generate it's right here but me minus C. generate fill and it will fill with this um, this red color and now you need to delete these two masks here to have a a clean uh, glass uh, silhouette so just delete these and put it under everything because we'll keep it for later now you, you need to take the this one here and just shut this out so it will 
make all the masks invisible. And now you need to boom try here. You, you go here in keyframe, position, scale, and rotation for this layer. Now you can just move this around here to make it um, to adjust it to fill this little area. So just do this frame by frame until you finished everything and actually the actually this looks pretty good so I'm gonna use this now it's really really simple what we just did and I'll just pre-compose this so go to <coughs> layer layer pre-compose and move all attributes so now we have just a simple thing here and take this orange, not the orange, but the this uh, this this red layer here. And put it on top, and uh, not on, put it on top, but just under under this <coughs> this layer here. And now you you need to take this and put it on alpha so now take the, this one that we just freaking post and now we are almost done we just need to clean this this area so you take the bottom one duplicate it put it on top of everything shut it off and just take this and do a mask around here and here we go mask, mask 1 and to the stopwatch we're on the mask path <coughs> and you can feather it a little bit and just move it around so it will finished everything so you do this frame by frame until you get something that looks good so yeah remember that you can always go in this layer here and adjust if you need to adjust the um, the area where you fill so yeah and also just watch something when I move around just watch around the edges right here you can see that a little bit of the layer below it so how do you fix that? first you go into the layer that is automatically shut off automatically and when you put this alpha here and with the uh, fill effect on it and you go to effect matte wait matte simple choker and you just need to bring value the value up a little, a little bit to remove to remove a little bit of this and if you put it even more it will Will reduce what will reduce even more. So this is nice because you can make it look more realistic. So this is a lot nicer. So yeah, keep adjusting your keep adjusting everything, and you're done. So hope you see you guys in the next video. Bye.